Could the Portland Trailblazers be a sneaky landing spot for Brandon Ingram? Well, according to one recent article, that is a prediction that at least is out there. So we're going to talk about that and the latest in the Blazers trade talk in this video. Now to give you the rundown of the Brandon Ingram situation, there have been trade rumblings around him for about a month now. There's a lot of talk headed into the offseason that the Pelicans were going to trade him, and then for a period of time it seemed like they might reconcile, they might find common ground on an extension, and he might stay in New Orleans. Of course the Pelicans also traded for DeJounte Murray to upgrade their guard core, but recently the rumblings are back and reports are saying that trade talks are intensifying between the Pelicans and other teams regarding a Brandon Ingram trade. Ingram is headed into the final year of a five-year $158 million deal. He's set to be making $36 million this year. And in a recent article by Brett Siegel at Clutch Points, he had a wild prediction for Ingram. I'll link this article down in the description box below, and I'm going to read off parts of this and summarize it. He goes on to say, all indications point in the direction of the Pelicans trading Brandon Ingram this offseason. The Pelicans are looking to replace Brandon Ingram with Trey Murphy, who offers more two-way and shooting upside as a long-term fit next to Zion Williamson. Many contending organizations aren't targeting Ingram due to the fact that his $36 million contract is a lot to absorb in a trade right now due to the first and second tax apron implications. Not to mention no team in the league is going to want to sacrifice assets in order to get the 26-year-old score just for one season. And that is a key part about this, Ingram could be a one-year rental. He goes on to say any team that actively looks to pursue Ingram will want to make sure he is willing to sign a new long-term extension. Although they are not in a position to contend for the playoffs right now, the Portland Trailblazers are a sneaky team to keep an eye on. This organization is wanting to improve right away, and they have a plethora of young, high potential talents on the roster, such as Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp, Chris Murray, and rookie big man Donovan Klingon. Even DeAndre Ayton is still young since he is going to be turning 26 at the end of July. The problem with the Blazers, though, he says, is that they don't have a sense of direction, which we've talked about for a couple of years now. After moving Malcolm Brogdon in a deal to acquire Denny Avdia, the Blazers now face decisions to make with other veterans such as Robert Williams III and Jeremy Grant. Anthony Simons is another interesting name to discuss regarding trade talks during the 2024-2025 season. All three of these players could be of interest to the Pelicans, especially since David Griffin is looking to put this team in a better position to contend during the playoffs. There's no guarantee that Ingram gets moved, but it is certainly looking likely. A team like the Blazers can offer him the role of being their top scoring option and the Pelicans would have a lot to gain by targeting players like Williams and Grant for immediate secondary depth. Prediction, Brandon Ingram is traded to the Portland Trailblazers in a shocking twist. All right, so I do not understand this prediction whatsoever. The Pelicans have DeJounte Murray and CJ McCollum at the guard spot, so if they trade for Anthony Simons, they're trading for him to come off the bench? I mean, that'd be a really good three-guard rotation. I'm also a little confused by calling Jeremy Grant secondary depth, as if they're going to trade for Jeremy Grant in his $30 million contract and bring him off the bench. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Robert Williams III actually might make the most sense out of these names, as the Pelicans need center depth after they lost Jonas Valanciunas to the Washington Wizards and traded Larry Nance Jr. to the Atlanta Hawks in the DeJounte Murray trade. They did draft Eves Missy with the 21st overall pick, but he's a raw rookie. And if Robert Williams could be healthy, he would probably start for them. But that is a big if and a big ask, unfortunately, which is why I don't think Robert Williams III has much value here. But ultimately, why would the Portland Trailblazers trade for Brandon Ingram if they're not trading away Jeremy Grant? The Blazers currently have Denny Avdia and Jeremy Grant at the forward spots, and right now they would have to bring one of Scoot Henderson, Shane Sharp, and Anthony Simons off the bench. So if the Blazers keep Grant and trade for Ingram, they would either start Ingram at the shooting guard spot, or they would bring one of Denny Avdia and Jeremy Grant off the bench. I think that would be kind of ridiculous, especially if it was Denny Avdia because he is the most long-term forward on this team. It just does not make any sense for the Portland Trailblazers to risk assets for Brandon Ingram walking a year from now. And all this trade could accomplish is maybe the Blazers sneak their way into a 10th seed. I don't think that's going to keep Brandon Ingram long term. Literally, the only way it would make sense to trade for Brandon Ingram is if the Blazers had really good trades lined up for both Jeremy Grant and Anthony Simons, and then could get back good value on a Brandon Ingram trade, and then were confident that they could convince him to stay. Even then, though, I'm not sure how much I like Ingram's fit next to Scoot Henderson, Shane Sharp, and Denny Avdia long-term. 
I feel like Tamani Kamara, if he continues to progress offensively, will be the two-way role player that would make the most sense in that lineup. Basically, the Portland Trailblazers should not be looking to make this type of trade. They should not be looking to get better right now, especially in this way. The risk versus reward is just completely out of whack. The risk is higher than the reward here. Brandon Ingram to the Blazers makes no sense. What does make sense is the Blazers still trading one of Jeremy Grant and Anthony Simons so that next season they can start Scoot Henderson, Shaden Sharp, Denny Avdia, and then one of Grant or Simons. If it's Simons, Sharp starts at the three, Avdia starts at the four. If it's Grant, then Avdia slides down to the three, and Sharp takes over that starting shooting guard spot with Scoot having the keys to the offense, which I think is actually very important next season as he goes into year two. Scoot showed a lot of progress at the end of last year. I want him to feel like this is his team. He has the keys to the offense because I think ultimately in a second year where he should be better, that's going to be the best thing for his growth. Also, he averaged seven assists per 36 last year. I would like to see him get starting minutes. I think he can be an eight, nine assists per game guy. Obviously has to cut down on the turnovers, but I don't know. Having Scoot Henderson take a backseat in year two just doesn't feel right to me. Neither does Denny Avdia. I want him to continue building on his terrific breakout year last season. He played his best basketball for the Wizards when he was used as a point forward and had the ball in his hands a little bit. Trading for more ball dominant veterans just to make those guys take a little bit more of a backseat when the Blazers are in a rebuild just does not make sense and would be completely directionless. So anyway, let me know what you think of Brandon Ingram down in the comment section below. Would you actually explore this trade or is this just completely pointless? How would you build with the Blazers going forward? Who do you think they should trade? What do you think the rotation should be next year? I'm looking forward to reading those comments down in the comment section below. We will have live streams for Summer League, which starts a week from now. So hopefully you can tune in for those. That should be a lot of fun. We'll watch Donovan Klingon and Chris Murray and Ryan Rupert take on other Summer League teams. And I don't know, maybe Turkavion Smith can carry us to a Summer League championship. That guy is going to be this year's Antonio Blakeney for us. He's a pure bucket. I know people weren't too happy with Scoot not playing, but uh, I'm fine with it. We can talk about that another time, though, because I'm out of here. I'll catch you next time. Until then, as always, peace out. Go Blazers!